Hey there, Mission Control. We're going to continue our systems overview video series today, and we're going to talk about flooring, why that's important to you. Let's check it out. Flooring is one of those things you take for granted. You don't really think about it until you kind of need it. In our case, we needed something that was more easily cleanable, a cleanable surface, because we were spilling stuff down here. Uh, seeds were getting all over the place. When we were doing the microgreen drying, man, we had little pieces of microgreens everywhere. And essentially we ended up vacuuming up the gravel that's, that's down underneath all this. So you need, you need to have something in your greenhouse that really accounts for that and makes it easier for you to be able to clean everything that you need to be able to clean and, and pick up after your mess. So uh, having a good flooring solution was really, really important. And I, and I would, you know, hindsight being what it is, and uh, someone came up to me and said, do you recommend flooring? My answer would be yes, absolutely. It's a game changer. You definitely want to have flooring in your greenhouse. So I'm by no means like Mr. Flooring Expert, and I'm not even going to try to pretend like I am in this video. But I really do like this floor. This floor is from a company called uh, Nuna Innovations, and they buy it from, what is it? It's a Porta Floor Max is the name of the product uh, that they distribute. It goes together like Legos. So you see all these seams right here? Just like Legos, every piece goes right in. And that means it's really easy to put this into different shaped buildings or to customize it. So I'm, I'm really, really quite happy with how it all turned out. And it was very easy to install. In fact, you can use a skill saw just to cut through uh, the plastic to size it to the right size. In fact, that's what we did over here. Uh, just had a little leftover remnant where we cut it uh, to put a nice smooth edge over there. So definitely pretty easy stuff to install. And uh, it, it gives us that cleanable surface, though we haven't cleaned it yet. We haven't even cleaned it yet, and that's because we've still been doing construction. But with the fungus problems that we've been having lately, now is pretty much the time where we're gonna have to clean it. So once we get all the fungus figured out, Got my mop bucket, got my mop. We're gonna come in here and we're gonna bleach this whole thing down. And uh, the floor's supposed to be able to handle that no problem, so it shouldn't be an issue. But having, the, having a surface that we can actually clean, uh, it's been really, it, it's gonna be really nice. We'll see how well it does again, but uh, I have nothing but high expectations for it. I think it'll do fine. There's one other cleanable surface that I could think of that would go in this building, and that's concrete. Now, there's a reason why I didn't like the idea of putting concrete in here, and that's because this is a prototype and we're still learning how to put everything in and what needs to go where. Uh, a good example is that uh, last year we had to put a drain system in for the microgreen processing lane, um, which we've since taken down. Uh, but the drains are still there. So if I, if I want to remove those drains, all I got to do now is pop up some of these floor panels uh, like a section on a submarine, you know, I can lift the floor panels up, I can access the stuff underneath, put it all back together again, uh, or I should say floor panels on the Enterprise, since this is the real Martian. Anyway, so I, I needed something that was a lot more flexible, and that's why I went away from concrete. Now, if you're doing an official uh, commercial facility, and you had, it was a proven plan, and you knew exactly what you're doing, I would say concrete is definitely the way to go. But if you're looking at a semi-temporary or semi-permanent, depending on if you're a half full or half empty kind of person, uh, this type of flooring is fantastic. The rest of the building, well, you know, most, only actually, sorry, the rest of the building is actually covered in this now, except for in between lanes one and two and lanes three and four. Those still have gravel down the bottom. And someday I'd like to, to buy more and, and finish this up. Uh, and, and, and get it all done so you have floor all the way throughout, but it's not a priority this year for the funds that we have available to invest. So, um, pretty nice stuff. Uh, I think each two foot by five foot section is like 250 bucks. In the end, it comes out to be in about the same cost if, if you were to put the frame down and pour the concrete. But what you have with this is portability, reusability, uh, flexibility. So that's really important to us. Um, not without its challenges. One of the things that I think we might find out is a, a problem here is because it is removable and it's not a solid surface, it might create a good uh, place for mold and mildew and stuff to form. So we're gonna see how that all goes. Now, underneath most of it, there's just gravel. So I think water and stuff will go into the ground. But there is one section where I put plastic underneath because I needed to move water away. I thought there'd be a lot of water. I think having plastic down there 
uh, would be better, but I think I'm going to live to regret that decision. So that's it for this video. Uh, quick and sweet, you know, floors are important, fluorine is important. If you're going to have a commercial greenhouse that you're going to be in, if you're going to be caring about food safety at all, uh, I highly encourage you to uh, consider it. And uh, I think a commercial facility, based on my understanding of the rules for uh, good agricultural practices, or GAP for short, you have to have a clean, uh, easily washable surface in your greenhouse, in your facility. Um, so kind of a requirement if you're going to get certified or, or go after anything other than raw egg. So thanks for following along. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up uh, and hit subscribe. In our next video, we're going to start talking about some of the, the server and the Wi-Fi and some of the more technical uh, electrical type of stuff that's in here. So I hope you uh, join us for that. Uh, don't forget, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and on Patreon. That's it for today, folks. This is The Real Martian.